Hello, I am Anna and I would like to talk about the V-slots. Maestro allows to play up to 156 virtual layers simultaneously. In our case, there is a background, side panel, lower fold and additional graphic element. So currently we use four different layers. Imagine what you can do with 256. It makes our graphics very flexible. There are a few ways to change V-slots. First one, throw a rundown. Here's the V-slot tab, double click and it will show the list of all these slots that were defined before. By default, there are five, but we can create up to 156. For that, we need to go to the settings, v slot tab, and let's create a new one. Let's do it for the credits graphics. I would like to use layer number 65. Now I need to define the name. It can be any name, and it will be presented at Maestro. Apply, OK. Let's go back to the rundown. And here, our new V-slot was added. Let's select it and play the item. Currently, it is coming on top of lower fort. I would like to change it. I would like to play it behind. For that, I need to change the V-slots. Uh, I will select, for example, ticker. It's layer number four. Now let's play it again. And as you can see, it is coming behind. But when you are making the changes in rundown, it will affect just a specific item. If you want to make the changes permanently, we need to do it in page editor. So currently, if I am creating instance of the same template again, it is coming with previous slot. Now let's make changes in page editor. The template is open already. In property, there is a V-slot and select the one that you want to use. Credits. Let's say the template. And currently it was stored in Maestro database. I'm coming back to the playout, selecting additional instance of the same template. And as you can see, it is coming with new V-slot. By the way, Vslot can be changed also from Newsroom plugin. In this video, we covered how to create and change Vslot for the Maestro templates.